What is going on everyone? My name is Zombie Rican, and on this video I wanted to share some of my thoughts on the upcoming Season 13 for Apex Legends. With early May only days away, I have to say I'm excited and probably like most of you, curious about all the new leaks, updates, and any other news that has dropped for Season 13. With not much being confirmed, there's been much speculation on which Legend is going to be dropping, new weapons on ground and weapons changing from care package, new hop-ups and attachments, map updates and adjustments, also, are any of the OG Legends getting any love, like, you know, at all, or is that just wishful thinking? You know, with everything that has been leaked and everything, I, I guess I could, you know, start off with, um, you know, the new character, possibly being Newcastle, um, you know, Apex has done this before with a character named Forge back in Season 4, where... Um, he was supposed to be the legend coming out, and then, you know, Revenant killed him. For those of you who don't know, Revenant killed a character back in his premiere, and, um, that character was named Forge, and supposedly Newcastle was, like, the runner-up, and Revenant just kind of, you know, took that spot. Um, personal opinion, again, this is not confirmed or anything, it kind of looks like Bangalore's brother to me. Um, just for the, you know, simple fact of, you know, we did get a little bit of backstory on Bangalore this season, um, it heavily introduced her brother, and, um, you know, it, it's spoken about her brother before, back in previous seasons, but this one we really got, like, the meat of the story, um, so, per again, personal opinion, I, I, I think it's definitely Bangalore's brother, um, but his moves, the, his moveset is pretty cool. Uh, it's passive, uh, you know, teammate goes down, you could pick them up or drag them. I'm pretty sure it's actually you could drag them to, like, a, you know, safe spot so you could rev them. Um, his tactical is, like, a, a mobile shield, which is pretty much just, like, a, a guided, you know, hollow shield that you can't shoot through and they can't shoot you. So I'm assuming it's going to be very useful for tight hallways and, you know, trying to just clear the gap and get to the other team. Um, his ultimate is sort of, it's called Castle Wall, and it's like a, I don't even know, he, he like, ground slams like a, a deployable cover that has like, you know, some spots in the windows where you could, you know, your team could bunker down and kind of shoot behind it, but, you know, with Mad Maggie's tactical, I kind of... I, I want, I'm interested to see the gameplay between Mad Maggie versus Newcastle, because you know, Mad Maggie's character is meant to destroy and just bum rush through cover and the next legend that they have coming out is solely based on cover. So I, I am a little interested to see that. Um, there has been other leaks of other possible legends that they're working on. Uh, you know, you can find those all over the place. Uh, they have character names, weapon sets, uh, I mean, um, move sets and everything. And, uh, so I'm not gonna get too, too much into that, um, I'll, I'll put that on another video with all the, the new, you know, leaked legends, concepts, and names and stuff, um, but on this one I, I just wanna focus mainly on Newcastle, cause that's honestly what it looks like is going to be the, the, you know, the new Season 13 legend, um, they could bamboozle us and, you know, bring back Forge or, you know, try to release all these Newcastle leaks just to say, haha, we got you, it's not Newcastle, it's someone else. So, um, you know, definitely that is a possibility. <laughs> but the, uh, moving on, I guess, we can, you know, start talking about some new guns that, uh, nothing has been confirmed, but it does look like we might be getting the Nemesis Burst AR, which is a energy burst assault rifle, obviously. Um, it's kind of interesting because we have yet to get a burst energy weapon, so I am interested to see how that's gonna gonna play out. Um, again, there's a couple leaked videos of that that you can go see. I'll do another one about all the all the leaks. I'll just put it in one video. Uh, this one I really just want to focus mostly on you know, stuff that really looks like it's coming to Season 13, but, the, you know, there was another leak a while back for the, um, Fnatic Energy Pistol, which, obviously, it's a pistol that's in the energy class, 
Um, and the gameplay for that video did show, you know, kind of re like really good damage on the dummies at least in the firing range. But um, you know, they didn't really much uh, release much else for that. So, um, speaking about the firing range, though, we're supposed to be getting some updates on that, which is pretty cool, because, you know, firing range was a little boring. Um, you know, they're going to be adding in some, uh, like, little mini-games, I guess, uh, or at least that's from what I've heard, and my research has led me to their, uh, I, the simplest thing I could put it as is they're releasing, like, a, a mini-game sort of deal, where, um, you know, you Sort of like the Bangalore firing range things that was going on. Um, for those of you who don't know that, during Bangalore's story, you got to go to the firing range and uh, it just talked more about her past and her brother. And, um, you know, it was like a shoot the targets, get the high score type of deal. So that, that was, that's, that, uh, that'll be pretty cool. Definitely help with, um, you know, moving, you know, getting the hang of the weapon instead of just shooting it dead on and just trying to control recoil. Uh, I also heard that there's going to be like random buttons placed around the firing range that you could turn on the dummies and turn them off and um, probably, you know, control the shield level or, you know, the, I don't know, maybe the aggression level of the dummies. But anyway, I, I, I am interested to see about the, um, about the updates for the firing range because... I am one of those players that kind of likes to, you know, just go to the firing range, get the cobwebs off, and, you know, then jump right into battle. Um, for Stormpoint, we're supposed to be getting some adjustments, you know, they might be adding some things, taking some things away, maybe making the, uh, some of the places just like a little smaller, adding some more buildings or whatever, um, just because, personally, uh, that map is way too big, and I find myself just running the entire time and then finally getting into contact and just getting destroyed because I am, have been running for like 20 minutes <laughs> but uh so that, that'll be fun to uh, look out for the world's edge is coming back with some new uh changes which I'm excited for I love world's edge that is probably my favorite map um nothing beats King Ca uh, King's Canyon but I gotta say world's edge it has to be one of my favorite maps. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, speaking about Kings Canyon, Skull Town might be returning. You know, they might have like a little event or something like that, just to kind of bring it back for a couple weeks, maybe a week or two, and then they might take it away again. Nothing has been confirmed. This is just solely based off of research that I've been doing for uh, for season thirteen. Um, Valkyrie's Heirloom might be releasing soon uh, for this season and I'm interested because last season they did uh, we got Crypto and Bloodhound so I'm wondering if they are going to do Valkyrie and another uh, Mythic or Heirloom suit whatever you want to call it um because, like I said, last season we did get a Bloodhound uh, heirloom suit and Crypto's heirloom. So, some of the research that I've been doing, there are finished models of Bangalore. Um, I do think Bangalore would make sense to bring, you know, the next mythic costume, only because of the, you know, they were solely basing the story for the last couple uh, weeks of season 12 uh, based on her. So, would be kind of cool to see her mythic skin. Um, what else do we got here? The Spitfire and the Vault are supposed to be getting uh, going back to the ground. And with that being said, I wonder what guns they're going to put in to the care package now. Or maybe it's going to be... You know, one of the new guns that are coming out that are going to be in the care package. Maybe they might put the Mastiff back, bring it back that OG feeling. Or, um, I don't know. What guns do you think should be care packaged or not? And then, what else do we got here? Uh, Apex Mobile is dropping early May, so hopefully 
you know, now that they've gotten the whole mobile thing out of the way, they could start putting more love back into, you know, the actual real game. Not saying that mobile's not a real game, but let's be honest, it's not anything compared to console or PC. So, I'm not really looking forward to the mobile, if I'm being honest. I'm probably going to get it, play it for a little while, and then never look at it again. <laughs> but that's just how I am. Um, but uh, I'm interested to know, what do you guys think is going to happen for this season? Um, based off all the leaks and all the news and everything, you know, I want to I want to hear your thoughts on what's going to happen this season. What do you guys think is going to be awesome or great? And what's just going to be downright broken and needs to be fixed? Like Jibby Shield, for example. Nerf his shield. He doesn't need it that strong. I'm sorry. He doesn't need it that strong. Personal opinion. Maybe not a highly liked opinion, but it's it's not fair. Lower his shield. <laughs> And I don't know, maybe give, like, Pathfinder some love, you know? I'm not really a Pathfinder main. I've always been a Bloodhound main. But maybe give him some love. But now I'm just rambling. Anyway, be on the lookout for my next video. It's probably going to be dropping sometime soon next week or, you know, before Season 13 drops to stay up on all the updates. Later!